the current Spain national team manager is your former teammate, Luis Enrique. Of course, you played uh, with Pep Guardiola, the Manchester City boss as well, amongst a host of, of former teammates, now managers as well, the likes of Diego Simeone, Philip Koku, Yap Stam, Frank De Boer, l- loads, frankly speaking. Um, are, are any of your ex-teammates ones that stood out during your career you thought they would make great managers or vice versa? They've become managers and you thought they'd be terrible. Who would not make? <laughs> well, the, the ones they make, of course, Pep, 100%. He was already manager as a player, so it was easy, easy answer. Same for Cholo. Cholo Simeone also was, as a player, was a manager already. Uh, what do you mean by that? Well, well the, you, you, you'll be having lunch or dinner and they will talk to you about tactics. They will get your glass and say, well, these guys play like that. And like, say, look, can I have my dinner? Can I have my knife back? Can I have my, my glass back? <laughs> <laughs> so to, to, to that extent, even in the dressing room before coming out, like, be careful. This, he will know all the players. A left footer will come in, go, go out. So... Managers, or they were <laughs> they were already managers players. Some that they don't, though they didn't. I thought they would not. Maybe Koku was one. Philip, although midfielder, very visual, very understanding of the game. I, maybe I didn't. Stam, definitely not one that did not think he would be a manager. Um, somehow I don't know why, but I, I, it will, it would surprise me when I when I when I see him <laughs> becoming manager. Was it a personality thing? Was no, it? no, it's, no. It's a, maybe that. Maybe it was. Because he was no breathing football twenty four hours a day. He 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 liked his time of football, uh, uh, and 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 maybe that when you become manager, you you know you have to be football twenty four hours a day, and maybe that sort of because you enjoyed that time off didn't didn't click in as a manager, which is, I think is great. You need your time off, but when you become manager, you have to be prepared to to not have that. And I think with him that that's what it was. When, when you think of your time with the Spanish national team, is it only positive things? What, what, what was it like with the media? Because that's, I think, something that we have massively here. You know, players talking about the pressure of being in that environment, going away to tournaments, being bored, seeing headlines written about every small thing that they did. You know, of course, the dynamic has changed with social media, with mm. having your phone with you and the various things that players can do now that maybe they couldn't back in the day and vice versa, the things that you guys could maybe do uh, without being photographed, etc. back in the day. But um, but I wondered how you, you looked back on your time with the national team. Is it is it fond memories only? Yeah, it is, it is fond memories because representing your country... Is one of the best things you can happen in your career, if not the best. I'm saying one of the best because the best probably is when you lift a trophy, and I didn't have that, that opportunity. But it, it, of course, one of the best ones, and, and competing at Euros or in a World Cup is is, is, is what you dream as a, as a kid. Um, in a, in a way, of course, when you look back, the different teams and national teams we had, and all, all the national teams that are there, and and you you won you go one by one of the players we had. You, the talent was in, uh, amazing, and and you thought, well, we should have achieved something, which we didn't. But it is what it is, and 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 forget about it. There was pressure, of course. There was pressure. I'm happy in my days we didn't have mobile phones and we could not check <laughs> that all the time. Social media. I'm so happy we didn't have that. Were you jealous when you saw the teams coming after you winning trophies? No, I was so happy <laughs> because most of them were my teammates, either at a, a, a club level or the national team. And I think, I think no. Hundred percent. When when a national team wins, everyone wins, and and I felt part of that as any of my generation felt part of, of that uh, team winning the Euros and the and the, and the World Cup. You you become part of that, on, on, in the history. So no, not at all.